at the fall, beginning in August, we will be rolling out our standards-based grading system K through sixth grade, district-wide. Instead of students receiving a letter grade on their report card, so A, B, C, D, F, students will now be graded based on mastery of standards. Think about when you go to the doctor. If your doctor says in your physical checkup, oh, you've got a C. What does that C really tell you? Is your blood pressure high? Is your cholesterol high? What changes do you need to make? The same is true in our grading system. If a student receives a C, what does that really tell you about what a student knows? We really had to look at how are we evaluating our students and try to seek about some positive changes in informing families truly how their child is doing in our core subjects. So students will have three areas um, that they would be graded upon. A one is that even with teacher support, they're still not showing that they've mastered that concept. A two would be where they're progressing. They've got some foundation, but they're not quite there yet of truly being able to master that grade level standard. And a three would be where the student has shown mastery. In some cases, a parent could expect to see a three plus. Um, and that's just basically the student can extend their learning beyond the grade level expectation. Just because a student receives a one does not equate that to an F. A one just lets us know that even with support, we've got to find some other ways to help that student be successful in that standard. Our teams have really spent a lot of time over the last year creating a rubric for teachers to really spell out what is a one, what is a two, what is a three for every single standard. Those report cards are gonna look a lot different than they have in the past. No longer are we basing your child's grade off of behavior and effort. We feel those are two separate things in a standards-based grading system. So you'll see 10 new behaviors or social emotional standards that are now included on the report card. And the reason for that is we've just got to have that core belief that behavior should be totally separate from academics. We know that in order for DPS to become a destination district, we've got to do things differently. We've got to do business differently. And one of those things is looking at how are we grading students? How do we know our students are doing well or not? and what supports do we need to provide for them. And so for students, this will impact them in knowing exactly what areas specifically they need to work on in order to reach that level of mastery. I think it's an exciting change. Change is hard, change is tough, but we wholeheartedly believe that our job at the district level is to inform families and help them be a part of their child's education and there's nothing better than being able to provide that for our district.